Zipline is an instant delivery network for healthcare products, and we use drone delivery at national scale to allow countries to provide universal access to healthcare to all of their citizens. In the long run, we're just a new kind of logistics network. Okay, so we have some video, and I want you to walk us through what we're about to see here, but sure. uh, this is the drone takeoff process. Ex explain what's happening. Yeah, so uh, we operate from, a from our own distribution centers, and the vehicle will basically launch from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in about half of a second. And once it's in the air, it's flying fully autonomously out to one of the many hospitals or health centers that we serve throughout the country. Okay, so we also have some video of the actual supply drop. So once it's in the air, it's now going to fly. It's flying autonomously, right? Yeah, yeah. It and when the vehicle arrives at the hospital or delivery site, we'll actually deliver the package from about 30 feet up in the air. And we can deliver into what our customers quote unquote mailbox, which is the size of about two parking spaces on the ground. So it's super, super accurate. And then this is the video of the drone recovery process because it actually has to get back to base somehow. You have to land. Right. And what? This yeah. Is so there's no landing gear on these aircraft. I mean, we, we build everything from scratch. Uh, it really hasn't existed in the world before. And we're catching a one centimeter target on the back of the aircraft. This is the advantage of using highly precise flight algorithms rather than pilots to fly planes. What happens when it's windy? I mean, interestingly, you know, it's not enough for us to say that we can save patients' lives when the weather is bad. We have to be able to operate all the time. So we fly in crazy storms, day in, day out, rain, wind, um, everything. And finally, Zipline is expanding its delivery radius in Rwanda. Explain that. Yeah, the, so the way, that we, the way that we serve countries is we'll build distribution centers to cover every human uh, in the country. And so you can see basically operating from two distribution centers, by the end of this year, we're going to make we're going to in partnership with Rwanda, make Rwanda the first right. country in the world to have universal access to what, healthcare. What's the cost per delivery? Is it, is it, do, do you do you break that down? Well, that depends on which country and the price okay. of labor in each country. But generally, it's less expensive than doing a similar delivery right. using a motorcycle. And in terms of healthcare products, is there a certain weight limit in terms of what you can actually send on the, send on a drone like this? Today we're delivering around two kilograms per flight, but you know each distribution center can do over 500 flights a day. Right. So you're, you're delivering thousands of kilograms of right. medicine to hospitals and health. Now the Rwandan government the has has obviously given you a path to do this. The U.S. is a lot more complicated. Do you see this coming here soon? So. A lot of people assume that rural health care is only a challenge in developing countries, but that's actually not the case. You know, uh, critical access hospitals in the U.S. are closing at a record rate, right. and the U.S. has the highest rate of maternal mortality in the developed world. So uh, we're actually partnering with the Department of Transportation in the U.S. and the FAA, who are looking at Rwanda as a role model and saying, how do we bring this here? And we're going to be doing our first commercial flights in North Carolina in the first quarter of 2019. And is, is, it, is it specific to North Carolina in terms of that state deciding to do it because of certain yeah, air traffic what, that's control that's what we're getting issues, started from a, from an air traffic control perspective. And long term, I mean, I know when you started this, this is about health care. But, you know, you think of yourself as a logistics provider. Um, you know, is this the next FedEx? Is this the next UPS? Is this how we're going to be getting deliveries all over, all over the world? Or do you think it, there's, there's a certain use case? Yeah, I mean, you know, zip, the, the thing that really drives us is we think that people's access to healthcare should not depend on the GPS coordinates of where they live. But in the long run, I think that you're going to see instant and automated delivery for everything. Right. That really. Well, when is, you hear, I mean, you remember when Jeff Bezos went on 60 Minutes now a couple of years ago and showed sure. off drones and said we're going to be dropping stuff or, or delivering stuff right to your to your lawn. Hasn't happened. You're actually, it hasn't happened, but you're doing it in, in other countries scale. at national scale. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, how far out do you think that reality is if you think it could become a reality? It is a reality today. No, no, but I'm saying, I'm saying for, 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 for everything. For, for, yes. I mean, whether you're going to get your pizza from Domino's this way or from uh, either whether it's, it's drugs are going to get dropped on, on your door or, or what have you. Yeah. I, I think that it's just a difference in vision. You know, I, we think that the long term, the, 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 the potential over the next few years of this kind of technology, of autonomous technology, is right. to provide universal access to healthcare and not to deliver burritos or pizza. Right. And you built all, we should say, he built all of this technology himself. This is not like off the shelf hardware or software. Um, our, our team did. <laughs> and, and, you know, the entire team is driven by, by this overall vision and mission um, to, to change the way that healthcare logistics works.